Okay, in this video, we are going to learn how you can actually add users into your organization. So if you have multiple users in your organization, you can add them into your Azure DevOps account so that everyone can collaborate together. Okay, and before we add users, we have to understand what kind of an access level the users have. So we have three types of user level, if I may. We have basic level of users who are going to be part of it. So obviously these basic level of users, it is free for first five users. You can have unlimited private Git repos. The QA testing plugin is not available, which is important point we have to understand in this particular access level. Then we have the stakeholder level, which is basically provides a partial or I should say limited access and can, can be provided to a limited unlimited number of users. So basically we can consider a stakeholder is someone who is not responsible for this, uh, sorry, I would say not responsible for day-to-day -day activities in the project, but yes, who, who's, whose life may be dependent on this particular project. So like they will have sort of a limited access, if I may, which can be actually customized as per your requirement, but yes, they will be having a limited access. What I would suggest that there is this particular link, please visit this particular link to get the understanding what this particular account is and how that works because stakeholder account is usually not used uh, in various companies, in my experience where I'm consulting, we don't usually use the stakeholder account. Then we have the Visual Studio subscriber account. So this is someone who is paying Microsoft Visual Studio subscription. That is the person who has certain level of access, who has certain level of subscriptions, or I should say services available for them. So this user has the same privileges as the basic user and it also has a QA testing plugin available. Now, obviously, if your users are part of Visual Studio subscri subscription account, they won't be counted in the first five free users. So like, let's say if you total have six users, so you're supposed to pay from the sixth user. But if this, per per this particular person is coming from the Visual Studio subscription, uh, subscription sort of thing, he or she, like you're not supposed to pay for this particular user. Now let's learn how Rohan can actually add users in Azure DevOps organization account. I want to mention one thing when we are adding the account, we have to understand that this is going to happen at the organization level. That means all the people who are part of this organization can actually view the projects inside the organization. If you're a student and you want to make your career in cloud, well, we have started our live bootcamp for students with special discount where you can learn about cloud computing live with the expert. To know more, check the link in the description of the video. Okay, now we are going to learn how to add user in our organization. Now you can see we have a project which we created like in the previous video. And we also have the organization which we have created uh, like long back ago. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to this organization setting, which is at the below, I would say left hand corner. I'm going to click on this organization settings. And here you can see we discussed in the previous video what these things are. What I'm going to do, I'm going to simply come here and I'm going to click on users. And in the user section, you can see there are like all the available users who are there. And you can see obviously the this particular user has the basic level of access. Now what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this add users button. And now obviously I want to add this particular user. So what I will do, I will provide the email address of this particular user. So I will type the email address of the user. Now I'm going to provide the what kind of an access level this particular user has. So I'm going to say basic. Now, obviously, do I want to add this particular user in the specific projects right now? Right now, I don't want or I should say don't want to invite this particular user to a specific project. So I'm going to keep at very simple. Now, once I've decided what I'm supposed to do, I'm going to simply click on this add button. Now, make sure you click on this send email invite so that the particular user is going to receive the invitation for this particular organization. So I'm going to click on add. Now, once I've sent the uh, like sort of a, you can see one user is added. Now you can see if I'll refresh the page right now, you can see this particular user is here, but he has not yet accessed this particular organization. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this user's email account and I'm going to accept what kind of a things I'm supposed to do as a new invited user in this particular organization. So you can see this particular user has been invited to my organization and this is sort of an email which looks like for this particular user. So you can see that is sort of a nice explanation. What I'm going to do, I'm going to simply click on join now. 
when I'm going to click on join now, I will be taken to that particular account. Now, obviously, I have to sign in or I should say I have to log in from this, uh, I would say this user's credential. So let me log into this particular user account. Now, once I have logged in, obviously, you can see you do not have sufficient permission to create new project. Please contact organization administrator for support. So basically what happens when we add a new user into our account, obviously, this user has certain limited amount of access. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to again go back to my previous uh, page or I should say is my administrator account. Now, once I go back to my uh, administrator level account, what I will do, I will again refresh the page. And once I refresh the page, you can see this particular user was added on 11th of April and the last access was on 11th of April itself. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back to my Azure DevOps homepage if I may, and I'm going to click on this Hello World project. And for some reason it is not working. Yeah, now it is working. So you can see currently I don't have any members in this particular user account. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply come here and I will click on invite. And here I'm going to select this particular user who is part of my organization. And I'm not getting any suggestion here. Yes, now I'm getting the suggestion. I'm going to click here and I'm going to invite this particular user into my organization account. So you can see now we have two members in our organization. Now let's go back to the user who is now invited into this particular project. Okay, now I'm back to my account where I have been invited to join the this Azure DevOps account. What I will do, I will refresh the page obviously. And now you can see, I can see this particular project now I'm going to click on this particular project and now you can see these screen is almost similar for me how it was available for the uh, administrator. Now you can see there are two members which are sort of not distinct. You can see I have some limited amount of privileges. I have some limited amount of privileges. If I go to project setting, obviously you can see I cannot do a lot of changes. You can see I cannot change the name or I should say a lot of things cannot be changed here. You can see all the settings which are available here are by default. I cannot do anything about it. So this particular user account, obviously you can see this is the project administrator. So it simply means whoever is the administrator, only that person has the access to this particular account or I should say they can make changes or make some amendment. So we have to understand there are two differences. If you are the administrator, you have 100% level of access, which is self-explanatory. And if you are not the admin, obviously there are not a lot amount of access which are available for your account. So that is it for this video guys. In case if you have a question, put that in the comment of this video. And if you need a career guidance related to what is the right path for you, obviously in that case, there is a link which is given in the description of this video. Click that link, fill in the details and someone from our team will assist you with your right career path.